Hi guys, the Millers from uh, Webster, Florida, and our video uh, today of the F7F-3 Flightline RC 1600 millimeter 63 inch Tiger Cat twin airplane. Looking forward to this airplane and us putting it together for you today. Uh, a little bit about me, since Wesley's been online so many times, I'm his father. Started in this hobby in the early 80s. There was nothing as far as anything like this in the early 80s. There wasn't even any ARFs. You got a box of balsa and stuck them together. So I've been in the video in this hobby for that long. There's a lot of things that I have known over the years that come in and helpful to maintaining these foamies. And uh, hopefully in a period of time, I can show you some of the things that maybe help you, maybe not, but uh, we're, we're planning on doing that for you too to, uh, on the bills. So hope you enjoy this and what about it, Wesley? Well guys, let's get it down to the table and let's get it built. All right guys, inside the box, you get your manual, your graphic sheet, and your airplane. Let's get into this box. I wanted to point out, most of Flightline's products that I've got are packaged extremely well. You're hardly ever gonna have an issue with damage from shipping, but Motion is really good if you ever do have an issue. If you send them an email, they're very good about sending you out a replacement product to keep your airplane looking great. Let's get into this. I'll get it all laid out on the table and unpackaged, and then we'll get this thing put together. Okay, we're back. We got the plane out of the box, and we're looking at uh, inspecting the whole plane and didn't find any type of damage uh, at all on this airplane. If you notice here on the part that I have, each part comes individually packed in this plastic, which actually helps it tremendously to get here in the shape that you see it here. Here it is, guys. This is it, what comes in the box. Uh, two nacelles with the engine mounts, the propellers, the building uh, glue, other things like that. Uh, looks like some kind of the doors glue, the uh, hubs for the props, the servo horns in the bag, uh, the fuse, uh, great, great looking fuse, the vertical and horizontal stabs. Look, looking great so far guys. Alright, so our first step is to attach our tail to our main fuselage. I put my go get them wire in already and I taped this on and now we're going to take and pull our wires through and start working our tail in. And there she goes. And now I've got to line up the little carbon spar and we're going to dry fit this. Now, before you actually glue this together, make sure there's no paint on the inside of here. Take a little sandpaper if needed and sand off any excess paint. Then we can dry fit the two surfaces together like so. Looks like it's a great fit right from the factory. We'll get back to you in just a second after I get these wires out of the way and we'll attach this tail to the main fuselage. All right, now we're gonna glue the two halves together. We're actually gonna use the glue provided in the kit. This is great glue. A lot of guys knock it, but it works phenomenal for what we're doing here. So we're gonna take this and be generous with it. And slather it in all the way around. It runs a lot like foam tech where you put the two halves together. Let's squirt it all over. We don't want this to ever come apart again. Sorry about my head if it's in the way. I'm gonna put a little on the spar that's gonna push inside the fuselage, and I'm gonna put it around the other half also. If a little drips on the paint, it's really not that big a deal. You can rub this stuff off. Just don't get too crazy with it. All right, we got goo everywhere. 
tried to get it off of everything. We're going to grab our wires while we push this together. Keep them in. All right, sliding together. And we're going to wiggle it around a little bit. Pull it apart. And then pull it back apart. And you see all the stringies coming out. And that means it's already kind of setting up. We'll kind of rub off our stringies that came off there. And then make sure everything's good and lined up. And that's it, guys. Now we just let it dry a little bit. Right. Now we're getting ready to put the nacelles on the airplane. I've just test fit it to make sure it fit down in there good. When you're putting your stuff together, you'll see us using these ultra stands in our videos. I'll put a link on the description to these on Amazon. They're only $19. We also put a towel on top of it when we're working on these bigger pieces that don't fit in the stand, and it really helps keep your airplane from getting dent and dinged while you're putting them together. Let me get this turned over, and we'll start putting the screws in to put the nacelle on the airplane. All right, we start off. I dropped all four screws in. Now we just gotta tighten them up, and we'll get to the next part. All right, now we're gonna route our wires under here and up to this board. There's one and two. And then we're labeled in here which channels we need. So gear is going to go in the landing gear channel right here. Maybe. <laughs> there it goes, I think. Yep, send her home. And our throttle is going to go in this back port. Why does your signal wire on these throttles? So follow it with the yellows on the other ones. And there we are. Lastly, oops, you're going to take and run your power cable out of here too. And plug in your ribbon connector. It is got little bars on it to keep you from plugging it in backwards. Don't force this in. You'll just have to wiggle it and it'll snap right in when you get it just right. All right. Now we just got to put our little covers on and this wing's ready. And then we we process to the other wing. Yep, same process on the other side, guys. We're not going to show it to you twice, but this is going to be built the same way for both sides. Um, we'll get down to the bench, get this together, and get Next back step to is going to be to install our horizontal stabilizer on the back of this airplane. Line up your carbon spar with the hole. Slide her in. Make sure to get that in there just right. And it should go home. There it goes. Now we'll take our other side. Line it up. Slide her in. You got to get this little tab in the back to line up for the elevator. Now it's all the way in. But now we just turn it over, put our four screws in. All right. Now we just got to tighten all our screws up. And we'll come back to you in just all a right. second. Now we're going to fish our wires through and slide our wing halves together. We already put one side in, just to make the video go a little quicker for you guys. But you'll take these and fish them. There we go. And grab that guy right there for me, Mr. Miller. <laughs> this isn't the Lots of hands. Lots of hands. All right, we got our wires in. And now I gotta pull it back out. <laughs> just not the easiest thing to film guys on this part I think y'all understand though there it goes and we slide it in Did you get the other one up in there all right and now he's gonna pull it tight we're gonna bring it home Got everything lined up. All right. Now we just gotta flip it over and put our swings bolts in. All right. 
All right, guys, so we flipped the airplane over and we're going to install the four wing bolts. Very simple. One of the things that you really need to look for is a set of forceps to hold screws with. Great things when you're trying to get them down in holes. Okay, so just so you know that maybe that's an easier way to do it than trying to, if you drop them on the floor, it isn't a good thing. So, good tool to have. Also, we've left the covers off over our wires that showed to put them on in the video. We want to turn the airplane on first to make sure that everything works before we glue these covers on. Also, we're going to make a little alteration to this kit and show you how to add screw points in and screw these covers on. So in the future, if you have to make a repair, you can on this airplane. All right. So we plugged our ribbon connectors in and we also plugged in our rudder channel to the rudder section of this board. Now we're getting ready to put our receiver in. So we've got all our wires here and we brought our elevator wire up and over to go here with all the rest of them. Now we just gotta plug in our receiver. Everything's coordinated. And if you're using spectrum radio gear, it's gonna be coordinated on here. So throttle goes to the throttle channel. All right, now we need the uh, aileron. Aileron right here. All right, elevator. Elevator. Uh, rudder. Rudder. Uh, gear, landing gear. No doors on this one to worry about sequencing. And last but not least, we're going to take one of our auxiliary channels and make that our flap. So auxiliary one for now. I've got two extra channels on this. My plan is to do uh, uh, a, a gyro eventually, and I want to be able to turn it on and off. All right, guys, we just got to get it put in the plane somewhere. And then we're going to get it powered up and test everything. All right, guys, we found it to our radio. And now all we need to do is plug it in. And now we're going to turn the airplane over. She gets a little heavier after you put all the batteries and everything in it. Set it back in our little handy dandy sling. Right now, what we're looking for is to make sure all our servos have come out and are centered. We can wiggle them. Ailerons are moving. Elevators moving. Rudders moving. We can fire up the motors. They're all spinning. Uh, inboard. Inboard. Seems like they're going the right way. Now we're going to flip the gear out and make sure they work. Look great. The spring doors didn't get in the way anywhere. Let's try and put them back in. This one's hanging a little bit over here, so we might have to adjust that a little bit. And it could be because the airplane's upside down sitting here on the bench. But yeah, looks great, guys. Center the servo. Oh. Don't forget to check before you put all your servo linkages on, the servos have to be centered. So you have to power them on one time for them to come out of the airplane. That's what we've been doing by, by waiting to put all the linkages on until this point. So we have power throughout the whole airplane. We know all of our servos are in the correct position. We're gonna watch that landing gear one more time. See if it goes in right now. Nope, it's hitting again. All right, we're going to have to adjust that, but it's not a very hard adjustment. We'll see y'all in just a minute. So what we're going to do now is install the aileron push rod. And according to the manual, you need this. Each link is different to each control. It says the aileron rod should be three and three quarter inches long. So make sure you get the right rod to the right control linkage. It also says that you should use the 
very furthest hole to put the rod into. And then what you will do is measure and make sure that the ball link and the your control surface is neutral to no up, no down, and then just snap her right in like that, and you're through. And we go to the next one. All right, guys, all that's left is to check and make sure everything's going the right direction. So left, that's incorrect. So if we were going left right now, you can see that this wing would go down, this wing would go up right now the way it's set up. So we're gonna go into our radio, change our aileron setting, and now it's the right direction. Elevator, up, that don't look like up. Down, that don't look like down. So once again, we go in and we find our elevator, reverse our channel. This is the new IX-12 radio. That's the correct way, rudder. Rudder's going the right way, but let's throw the gear out real quick and make sure that the nose wheels go in the right way. Clear. All right, the nose wheel is going the right way, but it definitely looks a little crooked, so we'll have to adjust that manually up inside. So the nose gear goes the same direction as the rudder. Opposite. But yeah. There we go. Everything's working. Oh, flaps. Look at that. I love how there's four flaps on this airplane. I'll have to get in and set up the slow down features so it'll come down really slow and scale. Uh, but I think we're about done, guys. We just got to finish up a couple little things, put the props on. You always put the props on last. No matter what a manual says, never put the props on while you're building the airplane. It can cause a lot of, lot of pain. Especially an airplane this powerful and big. Alright guys, let me get this finished up and we'll be right back with you. Alright, in conclusion guys, we got it all together. This is a phenomenal airplane from Flightline. The fit and finish on this airplane is hands down one of the best I've seen. We're really excited to get a maiden on it. Keep up with our videos. We're going to be doing one very shortly where we've installed all the decals and we do some airbrushing techniques to show you how to weather in how to put panel lines on an airplane and rivets. Come back and check us out, subscribe for more videos, and like our videos to help us out. Thanks again, and y'all have a great day. And remember, it's better if you have a buddy doing this for you. It's always better. It's not very fun just by yourself. Couldn't agree more. Me and him have been doing this together for a long time, so keep up with our videos, guys. It's gonna be fun.